So in order to find out what this actually means, let's go ahead and revisit our scenario from earlier with our uh, last hop router. And uh, let's see how this works with pentultimate hop popping. So uh, if you recall, 4.4.4 slash 4, uh, 4, 4.4.4.4 4 4 slash 32 is um, the loopback zero interface on R4. So it's a local um, interface. And remember in our definition there that directly connected and um, summarized routes are going to get this PHP treatment. So what it's going to do is it's going to say, okay, you know, I see this prefix in my routing table. I also see that this is a directly connected interface. So rather than assigning this a uh, label, I'm going to give it this thing called an implicit null. And brief side here, uh, implicit null actually is a label. We'll get to that in a minute. But for our purposes here, we'll just go ahead and refer to it as implicit null. So it's going to advertise to its buddy R3, say, hey, I've got this prefix and I've assigned it an implicit null. And same as before, um, R3's already seen this prefix in this local routing table, assigned it local label 19, and it's going to build the LFIB and it says, well, I don't have, you know, an, an uh, outgoing or a re remote um, label assigned for this. I have something called an implicit null. Well, basically what implicit null means is uh, when R3 gets something that says implicit null, it says, just pop that motherfucker. Don't ask no questions. Just pop that motherfucker. So when it goes to the LFIB, if it receives a packet from an upstream neighbor uh, with label 19, it's going to say, I've got label 19, and I'm going to pop this guy, pop the label, and send it on its way to R4. Now R4 is going to get this packet, and it's going to be an unlabeled packet. And going back to our handy dandy slide here, once again we see, in this case, unlabeled packet. We're not going to go to the LFIB because it's not going to help us. There's no label, no use searching there. Let's go to the Ceph table to determine the, to determine the outgoing interface. So it says, okay, look this up in Ceph. Ceph says, yeah, you know, that's your loopback zero interface. Let me go ahead and send it out for you. And now if you notice the difference here, we've only done one operation, one lookup operation on R4. Uh, whereas in the last, without the uh, PHP, we had to pop the label and then do a lookup. So we've, we've saved a lookup operation, and that is what the magic of PHP is for. Now, the overview of PHP, I think that you know this combined with the uh, example actually helps to uh, cement this in your brain a little bit better than the uh, fancy pants definition. But, you know, have at her, guys. If you, if you like this thing, go ahead. Commit that to memory. But basically, the number one benefit of PHP is that it saves an additional lookup on the last hop router in a label switch path. Uh, instead of assigning a local label and advertising that label, the last hop router is going to advertise something called an implicit null for all connected and summarized prefixes in its routing table. And I would memorize this for the test just because that summarized prefixes bit might come back to bite you in the ass if you don't remember that. Um, an implicit null is actually, as I alluded to earlier, it's actually an MPLS label that has a value of 3. And if you remember back to the MPLS basics video, any uh, labels 0 through 15, those are reserved labels. So we're actually looking at um, an MPLS reserved label here. And you're not going to see this on the iOS as, um, you know, you're not going to see, like in our case on R3, you're not going to see swap uh, label 19 with label 3. It's just going to be an implicit null. It's going to tell you to pop. But uh, later on in this video, I'll actually um, <clears throat> go ahead and do a packet capture with a Wireshark, and you will see that it's actually uh, just an MPLS label that's advertised with the value of three. And uh, the next to last hop, I'm sorry, last next to last, which is actually what the word pentultimate means. I probably should have <laughs> told you that a little bit earlier. Um, the next to last router pops a label of any packets for which it has received an implicit null for that prefix. And that's my ass getting a little bit wordy. Basically, if it gets an implicit null from a neighbor, it knows to pop the uh, the prefix or pop the label for that prefix. Uh, let's go ahead and jump on the CLI and take a look at this in action.